ओके सो हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू आई आई टी मद्रास स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द आई आई टी मद्रास ग्रेटेड असाइनमेंट फॉर स्टैटिस्टिक वीक वन फॉर मोर कंटेंट्स लाइक दिस सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड ऑल्सो ज्वाइन द चैनल टू गेट फुल एक्सेस विद ऑल अवर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स सो कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ टीचर आस्क स्टूडेंट्स इन अ क्लास टू डू अ प्रोजेक्ट The goal of the project is to find the proportion of the specific chemical contaminant in water of the different states of India. A student Ramya did a survey on the randomly selected five states of North India and gave her report to the teacher. Based on the information given, answer the question one, two, and three. So, question number one happens to be identify the sample and population. so we all know in statistic population is a entire set of items from which you draw data for a statistical study it can be a group of individuals a set of items etc it makes up the data pool for a study so over here the goal of the project is to find the proportion of the specific chemical contaminant in water of the different states of india so we can totally conclude that uh, the population is all the states of india and we also know a sample represents a group of interest from the population which you all will use to represent the data the sample is an unbiased subset of population that best represents the whole data and over here we can see the ramya for the survey randomly selected five states of north india so like we can also conclude that the sample that ramya chose is the differently selected five states of north india so using all this conclusion we can say that uh, the uh, correct answer is option number 4 that is sample consists of five selected states of north india and the population consists of all the states of india okay so coming to question number 2 that is ramya gave the report to her teacher that the proportion of the specific chemical contaminant in water is on an average 0.5% across all the states of india the above statement of ramya is based on which kind of statistical analysis okay so we know there are two type of statistic that is descriptive statistic and inferential statistic inferential statistic happens to be the analysis of data and coming to a conclusion using the sample data set for the whole population for example in election poll results the whole population is not surveyed only few thousand people are asked about their party of choice and on the basis of that a uh, election poll result is declared and uh, and the second type of statistic that we know is descriptive statistic which is the analysis of data of the whole population so for example if a company is asked about the sales in india then they can't just take a sample data set and find the sales of that sample data set they have to find sales of the whole india like in whichever location they have served they have to find the sales in all the location and on the basis of that they can create a report so this is known as descriptive statistic and over here ramya gave the report to her teacher saying that the proportion of the specific chemical contaminant in water is on an average 0.5% across all the states of india but we know that ramya has taken only randomly selected five states of north india so with this we can say that the correct answer over here is inferential statistic okay so coming to the third and final question is the conclusion of the study made by ramya on the basis of the chosen sample reliable and the answer is straight away no because ramya has chosen only five states of north india as her sample and north india cannot represent the whole india because there is southern part of india the northeastern states and all their geography demography is not same so north india cannot represent the whole india and because of this we really cannot say that the chosen sample by ramya is reliable so the correct answer is no